Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Albino Cherry here and welcome to a spooky den tour. So, first off, we're gonna start by entering. Ooh, spooky. Look at those creepy candles. Whatever's in there obviously is not gonna hurt you at all. Like, honestly, I could sit in there with that thing. What was that loud banging noise? Obviously, it's not going to be hurting us or bugging us during this tour. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Ooh, so we have some nice spooky... Ooh, a coffin. I wonder what's in there. What? Wouldn't want to find out. Let's go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on. If I can move... There we go. Come on. Let's go upstairs. That window isn't boarded up for any reason at all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look. Look at this nice, friendly dragon. He's perfect for being blown. It's perfect to get fire blown on you if you don't mind being scorched to a crisp. He's really friendly if you get to know him, actually. Whoops, gotta watch out for the fire. Whoa, that was a close one. Over here, we have some nice, wonderful brewing lightning up here, which is just waiting to strike on its victim. Oh, and what's that over off in the distance? A graveyard. Totally not full with zombies just waiting under the ground to come out in the middle of the night and eat your brains. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> no, there's no zombies. Nothing but a few spooks here and there. As we walk upstairs, we see the wonderful guest bedroom, which has Zeus's head floating, even though his head is only part of his body. So that picture makes no sense at all, and I have no idea why he'd be riding a horse, but it's still really creepy. Yeah, it is. And what's that? A totally not haunted phantom sheet. Oh, how nice for snuggling with at night. Another board up window, of course. We still don't know why it's boarded up. It's not like there's a ghost or demon hiding behind there just waiting to jump out and eat you. Mwahahaha! <laughs> ah, and here we have the wonderful closet of Greeley. Which contains, um, that. Of course, a plastic skull. We have to make things look spooky now, don't we? No, it's really a real skull. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want to be fired. Now, as we travel downstairs, you're going to see some pictures that eyes will follow you. But it's no big deal. It's a popular thing here at the mansion. Now, as we crawl into the haunted cellar, you'll see toxic waste spilled and bottles cracked all over the place. No need to worry. The worst they can do is melt your foot off. We have a trapped phantom, which never escapes, like, at all. It doesn't escape once every month or so. No, it always stays there, and it hasn't caused wreck down this place at all. Ah! Always friendly, glowing eyes in the dark. You never know what they could be, but you always know that they're gonna be something friendly that just wants to jump out and give you a hug. Ooh, and we have this totally friendly little jack-o'-lantern over here. Aw, look at how cute he is! We have this nice organ that doesn't play itself at night. Mm-mm, not at all. Some nice phantom smog over here. That must be so good for your lungs. It's green, too. Wow. Wowza, that's just amazing. Whatever even happened to this guy on the statue, we don't want to know. Unless you want to get super spooked. Now, here's a nice little graveyard. What a pleasant surprise. Here rests Batsy, the most cunning bat of all time. Oh, we wish that we could see her again. Even though we do every night or so, she comes out looking for some brains. Of course, we have to give her some. She's just such a darling little thing. Now, here's our nice shadow garden. It's a happy home to many haunts. They like it here because it seems dark, foreboding, and even a little bit emo. The kind of thing that they love to stay in. As you can see, they have very dr dramatically affected the environment. Seeing as there's scratch marks, the walls are crumbling, and there's black roses. Now, as we walk down into our nice 
nice backyard, we see some toxic goo. Just nice to lay down in and have a nice spa day. It's so great to play in if you have kids. I have some and only 12 of them have melted in here. Now, as we walk up, we see many things that would disturb normal people. But of course, here at the Haunted Manor, we are not normal. So none of this spugs us. It's phased one or two ghosts. But that's it. Now you see curling vines that if you jump into, you will not come out of. At least not in one piece. Mwahahahaha. As we tour up here, we see some very spooky trees. Aw, but they're really nice on the inside. Look, I can even take a selfie with them. Say cheese! Or die. Well, thank you all for watching my spooktacular haunted manor tour. Please feel free to visit any time you'd like. Always open, never locked. Come to Albino Cherry's Den and get a creep-tastic scare. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to comment some ghostly suggestions for more videos. And every like this video gets, every spirit gets, every spirit gets to leave the manor. Every thumbs down this gets, a spider will bite you. I don't mean these cute, adorable spiders like the one next to me. I mean huge, poisonous spiders that you probably won't survive getting a bite from. And every time you subscribe to me, a phantom will be trapped. Now thank you for watching, and have a ghoulish time. In the rest of the haunted Jamaa! Ha ha ha!